Hey guys, it's uh, Friday the 13th and there's no news like bad news, but the good news today is I tried out my uh, new idea of cleaning out the, the filters on the on the gasifier, which are right over there. And uh, the first set of filters, of course, has the stainless steel scrubbers in it. And uh, I have a little wob of uh, stainless steel before the initial flare uh, that comes out of it. And that traps a lot of the moisture and residue and stuff like that. And I just toss it into the, uh, the wood furnace in the winter there when it's, uh, uh, you know, when that's going. Throw it on the coals there for a couple of minutes and it, it burns everything right off and it's in good shape. So I just tried it on a little bigger scale for the uh, entire wob of, of uh, stainless steel that's in that first filter. And the other filters, uh, I have a little wob of that on top of the, the wood chips and um, the fiber fill and stuff like that. And I'm amazed how fast that works and how clean it gets it. So I'm going to kind of show you what it's... What it's uh, This was a stinking mess before, and you couldn't uh, pick it up without getting crap all over your hands. Look at that, that's about two minutes on the fire, and that's underneath the barrel here. These are all dry now. The stainless steel looks good. I flip it over with a fork. Still got a couple of coals in it. I gotta get out of there. But that part right there didn't look like it, uh, it got it all the way but that's close enough it'll work real good and these guys were sitting on top of the uh the wood chips and the uh, fiber fill and they cleaned right up i mean instant just like that you see a little smoke come off of it underneath here i have one of our old barbecue grills set up there and i'll just lift this up for you so i gotta get my other gloves because that plate's getting a little hot but uh, i just threw it right on top of the coals and i'll show you that so hang on a second I should have all this stuff prepared beforehand, you know, but I get I get into it and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for this. Yeah, but I'm ready now. Okay. Ugh, there goes the leg on the tripod. I'm going to fix that someday. Okay, so that's, it was just a little bit more than that. Um, I just took it right out of the wood furnace and I threw it in there and it was, uh, it's still hot. So I'm going to uh, dry out, I'm going to put the uh, wood chips on top of that and dry them out on that plate. I'm not going to burn them up, I just want to dry them out. Um, the good news is, I couldn't get any, uh, well the bad news was I couldn't, it just seemed like I wasn't getting enough uh, wood gas out of the filters the other day um, to run that Honda engine. It's uh, sitting right there. And so I figured, well, maybe the filters are plugged up. And then I was thinking, boy, that fiber fill, that's the, that's got to be the culprit. If there's moisture in there, that stuff is just going to wob up. Well, it's, I've cleaned these out, cleaned it out before, and they're black, but they seem to be dry. So I'm just going to run over and grab a little bit. And I wish I had a, some kind of a moisture meter I could put on there. It's just, I mean, it's not soggy at all. I can, I can feel that it's just damp, even with the rubber gloves on. It's just barely. So, but that's not enough. I mean, it still pulls apart easy and everything. So it's, it, you know, I don't think that's really the culprit. So it might have been just the moisture. It might have just been, it takes a while to pull that, to excavate all the air out of those things and just pull that, pull that wood gas through for a while till it's, uh, you know, totally purged of air and, and um, everything else. So we're, we're just try, try cleaning these out. I'll just set these on maybe for a minute to see if they, they roast. Not a good idea with your... Oh, it doesn't like that stuff. Huh. I guess it don't like heat. Don't sleep with this under your head and, and smoke cigarettes now, all right? Anyhow, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, just put the uh, wood chips on top of the, the plate there again. I'm just going to uh, heat them up and, and that'll dry them out good. They still look fine. Now, the other thing I just figured out this morning is how do you get those stinking tops off of the uh, tubes there uh, while you're uh, trying to get them off? Uh, it, it's just a pain without having to pull all the filters out of it and take it all apart and everything. So I'm probably just going to stick a vacuum cleaner down in there and suck the wood chips out of it. 
because that those are pretty much in place down at the bottom there but what I did is I took my air chisel gun and I turned it down low and I will kind of give you a little show there what I did and I've got the just the stub end on it uh, for pushing bolts out of frames and stuff like that and I turned the air way down on it so it just rattles a little bit and I just put it under the lip of the uh, uh, the two tops there and put, add, put, put a little pressure on with your fingertips on the back side of it keep lifting up on it and then just rattle each one of them back and forth and that thing popped right off I was pretty surprised because I know before I was hitting it with a hammer trying to get them off of there the black ring on top of the filters there is grease I just uh, put some axle grease around there to facilitate taking them off the next time and it helps seal it up so I'll just give you a quick little show of what's going on with that And that's about that. So that pulls it off, pulls them off real, real fast. I think what I might do is I don't use a lot of those air chisels, and I've got a few there I don't know if I'd ever use. So I think what I'm going to do is cut out a uh, a plate and bend it for about a third of the diameter or the circumference of the uh, the blue filter things there, and weld it onto one of those stubs so that I'll have a uh, kind of a plate that surrounds underneath the uh, the. It gets under those caps there and just nudge it up with that maybe put a uh, a piece of uh, rubber hose or something on top of the thing there so that it doesn't really beat up the beat up those caps and everything but uh, that comes up and that makes it really really quick so I'm pretty pleased with that all right so that's the update trial by fire it seems to work with everything so I gotta put the cap back on so the sparks don't fly around so it's kind of dry out but uh, Hey, I give it a two thumbs up on that. That really worked fast and real well. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, <clears throat> okay, guys. So I just took out. I'm going to re up this a little bit. I just took out the. Whoops! I got to take that off of there. Cause it don't. It doesn't like the fiber fill. So that plate's getting kind of warm there. So I just took those out. These were sitting. Uh, those two stainless steel scrubbers or scrubbers were sitting on the bottom of the. Uh, the tube there for the last filter and you can just see the uh, the moisture um, starting to smoke off of that now and then of course the the fiber fill stuff that's that don't like the heat too much but I'll just let that that stuff air out I don't see anything wrong with it and I'll fluff it up again and stick her back in there so as soon as that thing stops smoking you know you've got uh, you know you've got it all done. I didn't put it right on the fire, but I'm just trying this out too to see if it works on a hot plate. So get out your uh, your uh, hot plate grills there and clean up your stuff. Clean up your act there, buddy. So we're signing out, and we'll update you. Okay, one last little update. Those are just about done grilling. I flipped them over a couple times. They look like little chicken cutlets, don't they? Well, the good news is is the uh, the big wob of stainless steel over there. I brought it over to the thing there. Of course, it's been in the in that barbecue grill. It smells like chicken. Ah, nice. We're going to fire that puppy out and bring in the crowds for miles around when they start smelling the barbecue stainless steel. And this is <clears throat> the uh, stainless steel that was in the bottom of the wood chip uh, filter. So I just tossed them on there. I figured, well, I better turn this on quick to show you guys there. The wood chips are, I don't want to say they're wet. They aren't, they're even not even hardly damp. They're, you can just barely feel a little moisture on it. So I don't know. But anyhow, we're going to have a good clean system to start with. Yay, yay.